how to make a thousand dollars a month through Amazon Associates affiliate marketing program. Hey, this is Ping Jin here, and in this video, you're gonna discover what are the people that's doing it successfully and what are they doing differently in order to turn this thing that everybody has access to for free in order to become successful. And this video is specifically gonna focus on Amazon Associates, which is basically Amazon's affiliate program. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead over to the computer right now and I'm gonna be showing you how it works, the mindset, the strategy, and the skill sets that you wanna have in order to turn this into a very realistic $1,000 a month. Now, again, this is all scalable. It could be 3,000, maybe 5,000, but let's begin with $1,000 because we all know that that extra $1,000 can be the difference between a pretty comfortable life and a struggling one, okay? So how do we even make that happen? So right now I'm going, I'm heading over to Amazon's page, Amazon Associates, and you can see that on Amazon, the reason why it's the biggest e-commerce site in the world, well, one of the reasons anyway, is because they literally sell everything, right? From fashion, to health and beauty, to home products, to music. And I opened this tab over here to show you that the payouts that Amazon has ranges from about 1% to about 10%. So you'll notice that some products for example, Amazon Fresh, which is where you can buy their, their fresh produce, the grocery uh, products in there. And, and you'll notice that these type of products, because it sells very well, the payout is only 1%. However, electronics, Apple products is about 2.5%. And other parts of Amazon that sells like their digital products is 5% and their luxury beauty is 10%. In fact, Amazon recently decreased their percentage, but Again, we need to just understand the strategy behind it that separates the successful affiliates from the ones that are not successful. If you wanna generate $1,000 a month, you will see that, first of all, because the commission rates are low compared to digital products, and the reason why it's a lot lower is because Amazon takes care of everything, right? They're taking care of the customer experience, product creation, the fulfillment, the shipping, insurance, customer support, everything. So that means if you wanna promote a product and if you want an income that pays you $1,000, if let's say on average a product pays you let's say 5%, that means in total sales, you need to sell approximately $20,000 worth of products per month on Amazon in order for Amazon to give you 5% commissions so that you can get $1,000. Okay, so let's begin with the end in mind. The good thing about Amazon is when you sign up for Amazon Associates, they give you a link that is customized to you. And with this link, whenever you refer people that buy stuff on Amazon, how Amazon pays you the percentage is based on the total checkout value. So that means if I were to refer people that buys a camera on Amazon, but because of Amazon's upsell and cross-sell, you might have noticed they'll say like, person that bought this also bought this, also bought this, also bought this. So this person ends up buying the SD card with a professional mic, with a upgrade in their lens, and they end up spending say $7,000 on some full-fledged professional setup studio. Amazon will pay me a percentage based on the entire checkout, even though I just referred that one product. So can you promote something that ends up in high ticket sales. Because if the checkout value is higher, that is when you can reach your goal of $20,000 a month. So there are some products where people tend to spend more and there are some products where people will tend to spend less. So let's say if I were to promote the iPhone and it's $1,000, okay? Now the iPhone, which is $1,000, based on this chart here, you can see that the iPhone is under PC, PC components. So what does this mean? It means that if I were to sell and promote and do a, a piece of content or review or send an email out to my audience promoting the iPhone 11 that sells at $1,000, and let's say a person goes on Amazon, they buy this thing and they buy nothing else and they just check out immediately, I will get 2.5% of this, so I will get a 
$25 sale. So if we want to be successful with this to make $1,000 a month, you want to be able to build a list and then create content that sends people to this list. Now that we understand this model, which market do you want to serve so that the end result is in them purchasing this physical product on Amazon. You could be in, in beauty, in real estate, you could be in luxury, you could be in photography. You gotta ask yourself first, how do I create content based on what people are searching for that ends and results in this sale? Okay, let's say I wanna sell electronic equipment and a mic with SD cards, with a, with a laptop. What are the different methods to create content so that it gets discovered on Google so that eventually they will end up buying this professional microphone? Okay, let's begin with that. Let's go on, on, on Amazon and I'm gonna type in professional microphone. Let's just take a look. So this Blue Yeti is 129 bucks. It's this one's $200. Okay, so this looks like a good podcasting mic, okay? So who are the kind of people that will buy expensive mics like these? Now I'm thinking, okay, podcasters who want to invest in a pretty good mic, wouldn't you agree? If I wanted to get people to buy this mic, how can I create content that leads to this sale? So for example, this could be Joe Rogan's podcasting setup. Okay, I totally made this up. I don't know if there's content created that way. There probably is, okay? But chances are there's people thinking, I wonder what mic Joe Rogan is utilizing, right? So what if you created a video that explains his setup? So now you did a YouTube video and in that video, on the Facebook video or whatever, you would say, if you would like to be able to order the same equipment that Joe uses, the links are in the description box below. So what are you doing? You're sending people over to Amazon from your YouTube video straight over to the checkout page. Now, what if you wanted to build a list? It would be, below this YouTube video, I actually created a resource for you to how you can have Joe Rogan's setup, but on a budget. We've established in this video that he spent over six figures on his entire studio. But if you don't have six figures to spend on your studio, discover how you can do it on a budget at a price point that is 75% cheaper. All you need to do is head over to my page where I'm gonna be giving you this resource that you can download so that you can be able to have this, a similar setup but at a much cheaper price, okay? So that's something that you can do. And again, on this page here, you're capturing their name and email address and you could have this pre-written emails where you're constantly giving them value and on these emails, you're selling them to a product that is sold on Amazon so that you can get an affiliate commission. Now think about what's possible in your marketplace. So I'm asking myself, okay, if I wanna sell more of these electronics since they're high ticket, and if I wanna make $1,000, how do I sell $20,000 worth of products? Which seems like it's a lot, right? What are people searching for? How can you start creating content that gives people that value so that it gives them what it is that they're looking for? And what if it could be a piece of content that sits up on either the search engines or on YouTube, which is also a search engine, that is evergreen for life? If, if I were to go into different niches, you could see here in the payout, beauty and luxury is at 10%. So let's say I wanted to sell luxury beauty and I wanted to do this and follow this framework over here. Since now it's 10%, I need to sell 10,000 worth of luxury products, okay? So let's say I'm, I'm some Instagrammer that is into lifestyle and beauty and skincare. Let's type in skincare and see what we get. Okay, this thing here sells for $21, but there's 4,000 of these, so perhaps it sells well. Okay, let's say it's this $21 product, but chances are there are all these other cross-sells, right? So notice, it says frequently bought together. There are all these other upsells over here, and uh, related to this item, there's the mask, there's all these jade rollers and stuff like that, okay? So let's say I wanted to sell this face roller over here and this skincare toner. And if this is the end product, I gotta ask myself, what has to happen before that so that it creates desire for my audience to want this skin roller or skin toner? Here's the mistake most people do again. They try to sell the product direct. But the, here's the problem. People don't wake up in the morning thinking to themselves, where can I buy a face roller? Because they're not even aware there's desire for this thing because they can't connect the dots. So the way you do this, the way you sell products, regardless of whatever market that you're in, is you need to have a 
framework and have your product that you want to promote on Amazon as part of the framework. If let's say I was an influencer in skincare, I would say the five step process to flawless skin. Step number one is the step most people do, which is cleanse. Chances are, if you are a guy, all you're doing is step number one. Step one, wash your face, the end. But here's the problem. If you want to have flawless skin, the reason why most people don't get flawless skin is because they don't do the remaining steps. Step number two is to tone your skin. The number one cause of acne is because you have your pores that's open and bacteria is going into your skin. You see, when you cleanse your skin, your pores are opened up, but because you don't close it, that's when bacteria is able to go in and that's when pimples and acne happens. I'm just kind of making this up. That's where a skin toner comes in. Below this video, I've actually linked on Amazon the same skin toner that I use. And if you want to tone your skin, check out the link below where you can be able to use the same skin toner that I use. What I just did was I promoted a product by linking my framework and my, my product as part of the framework. So if there was five steps, I don't know. Step number three is to moisturize. This is where once you've closed your pores and you want to moisturize your skin, one of the best ways to increase absorption rate is to use a roller. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't even know what a roller is, okay? But now, but now if, if I'm the expert in this, I want, to get, I want to get good at this and understand how does a roller apply into my framework. I am integrating the product into the framework, into the process. And what if this can be applied in, in any market? So I know that there's the, the, the team, they recently bought this really expensive thing called a switcher, okay, that they use behind the scenes. And you can see like some of these switchers are like a thousand bucks. You see, somebody like me, I don't know what a switcher is and how it connects to the big picture. If I wanted to sell this switcher, which is a thousand dollars, I need to create a framework in my content to show people how does a switcher fit into the big picture of things. What if I created a YouTube video that says, have you ever wondered how it's possible to create really nice professional looking CNN style videos where you've got a multi angle and how it's actually done and controlled behind the scenes? If let's say you have a presentation and th these are your TV screens and this is you, okay? And let's say you, you wanna do it really professionally where you have multi angles and this is your camera A and this is your camera B and your camera C. And you wanna be able to take in live calls from a live audience. It's all connected together where you actually have a person switching through the different angles utilizing this thing called a switcher. And this is literally what you need if you want to be able to control and have your videos shot different angles live. If you want to order the same switcher that I use in my setup, the link is right below in the YouTube description, right? Now, when I say YouTube description, know that what I just said here could be in the form of an email. It could be in the form of a Facebook Live where I'm touring the set and showing people exactly what's happening. A website on a blog post where it's just images and a write-up so that it ranks higher in the search engines. It could be on any platform. But the most important thing is to understand messaging and the utilization of a framework so that you're now connecting the product that you're promoting with your messaging. The problem is people try to sell the product straight away. Can you imagine if I went online and I just said, switcher for sale, $1,000. That sounds ridiculous, but that's literally how most people run their ads and, deal, and, and create their content. But it is not about selling the product on Amazon, even though that is the end goal. It is about thinking, how can I create content, whether it's on YouTube, blog, website, Facebook, and then either send them to me and cr collect this email address, or if they're in my email already, how can I have my follow-up email process to give value, give, 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 once in a while, sell a product. Give, 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 sell a product. And you'll be able to utilize this regardless of what market and what industry you're in. And that is how you start and you begin this journey to a very, very conservative, realistic $1,000 a month on Amazon. Now in this series, you're gonna see that Amazon, I personally believe is a great way to get started, but it's not a great way to scale. Here's why. Because when you wanna start scaling this into a $10,000 per month income, that's when it's gonna be harder because in order to get $10,000 a month, you need to hit $200,000 in sales. And you'll reach a point where you realize that 
promoting either your own product or other digital products or software or recurring products is actually a whole lot easier than Amazon. So Amazon, great way to get started, to get a taste of what it's like to be able to make money online. But then to scale, there are all these other platforms that I believe is easier. And that's why you wanna be subscribed to this channel for future videos like this one, where we talk about other alternatives, other platforms. And as always, be sure to leave a comment below. We're right now doing a draw um, where you will stand a chance to win $100 just by commenting and letting us know what your biggest takeaway is. And please smash the like button if you found a value in this video. This is Pingjun here, and I'll see you in the next video.